China's currency has weakened further against the U.S. dollar as the central bank took steps to steady the yuan after its recent sharp fall. On Monday, the yuan fell below the seven per dollar level for the first time since 2008, and that led Washington to label China a currency manipulator. Our Shanghai correspondent, Lynette Lim, finds out what a weaker yuan means for the Chinese economy. For the first time in 11 years, the yuan on Monday fell below the psychological level of 7 yuan to the U.S. dollar. And although the currency has since bounced back a little, analysts say it could hover around the 7 yuan per U.S. dollar level in the near term, making imported goods more expensive for Chinese consumers. For a consumer who's already a little bit worried about the economy, a little bit worried about job prospects, this definitely causes them to be much more careful about how they spend. Um, I think the upside for Chinese businesses is that consumers are more likely to buy domestic products, which is something they were already trying to do. But in terms of consumer sentiment, I think people are not very positive right now. While a depreciating yuan could offer some short to mid-term respite for Chinese exporters by offsetting the effect of the tariffs levied by the U.S., the Chinese government may not want to see the currency weaken further. The government doesn't want the renminbi to weaken too much because uh, consumer spending really has been sort of the bright spot for the economy in China. And if the renminbi weakens too much, you're going to see basically consumer panic. I think that's one issue. I think the other issue is a lot of Chinese businesses are carrying U.S. dollar denominated debt right now. And so the weaker the renminbi is, the more expensive it is for them to pay off that debt. And that could put a lot of businesses under. Already, the depreciation of the yuan has prompted Washington to label Beijing a currency manipulator. This designation requires the U.S. government to seek negotiations with the government accused of manipulation. And if there's no progress a year after the designation, China could face possible sanctions, including its firms being prohibited from competition for U.S. government contracts. With the U.S. slapping the currency manipulator label on China, analysts say this signals an escalation of the trade war into a currency war. And this will further diminish the hope that a trade deal between the two sides can be quickly reached. One important milestone to watch would be in November, when Chile hoses the annual Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation, or APEC Leaders Meeting, as Chinese President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart may sit down again for talks. But some analysts have expressed pessimism about a deal by the end of this year. I mean, in the past few rounds of the negotiations, sometimes the atmosphere is not look so friendly, but lots of things is just um, stay on the verbal. But now it seems like the two sides really putting on the actions on penalizing each other. So I don't think the trade ten the, there will be some meaningful trade agreement probably toward the end of the year, and the most likely we probably will see this kind of saga toward um, maybe extend to next year. The world can only hope that the growing prospect of a global economic slowdown in 2020 may deter both sides from further escalating the trade war. Lynette Lim, CNA, Shanghai.